Hello everyone, Shnikey Man here. Uh, I have recently come across a problem and then found the solution. When I originally made this tie for Spirit, before I put the, the cross brace on it, I tied it into a full Windsor knot and did not ever have the intentions of untying it. Well, I've been cosplaying Spirit for since 2012, so, you know, four years, and the knot eventually came undone the last time I was in Spirit cosplay. So, that meant I had to find a way to either tie the tie without using the standard method, because this isn't going to fit through the loops and whatnot, or remake the tie with a clip-on. <clears throat> Now, I'm not inclined to wear a clip-on. Some people are comfortable with that. It's really not my thing. And I don't want to buy another tie, let alone a clip-on one, and then go through the troubles of sewing this all together again. So, I searched YouTube for different ways of tying knots, and I found what uh, this one young gentleman uh, referred to as the backwards knot. You can actually find a link to his video in the description for this video because I want to give him plenty of credit for what he has taught me. But I wanted to give some cosplay relevance to this, which is why I'm making my own video. So, we have the cross tie here. Now, for those of you who have similar issues, you're going to want to arrange the tie so that the cross, or whatever strange funky tie you may have, lays where you want it to lay once it's pretty much tied. All right. <clears throat> then we come in here and we pinch the tie just below the second button and bring it to the middle. Then you take the skinny piece and bring it across and around. Should be a fairly familiar motion for people who are used to tying ties. Then you bring it up, through, and to this side. Now, you want to make sure you're having the underside still showing when you have it around this way. Then we bring it across. So you can see it's starting to look like a tie knot. And then inside the tie, around, and again to your left. All right, so have it coming kind of like that, see? Now, you bring it straight across the back, and this is where it gets a little difficult, but really, for the reasons this is, it's not supposed to be easy. you got to take this bit and slide it into that diagonal area, kind of like you're threading a needle. you got to slide it in there, be gentle and everything, hold the knot, and pull it through. You see? Now you can see we got pretty much as a... Uh, what the backward knot name would imply. It looks like the back side of the knot almost. Now, you tuck it behind the knot, smooth things out to your liking. All right, and you know when we came across, you're gonna have this right here. That's where we're gonna tuck away the last little bit here, is right into that. Now, tuck it down there. Again, this is takes a little bit of time and you got to be gentle with it. You don't want to pull on the wrong pieces and cause the whole knot to get a little funky. You pull it down and you can fuss with it all you want. I know my camera quality isn't the best. Now, what's kind of funky about this, I mean backward knot implies pretty much backwards everything is, in order to tighten it you pull on the front Part of a tie knot. All right, so you wanted to kind of set the tie maybe a little bit higher in the beginning than you originally wanted to sit. But there you have it. We have the backwards knot allowing us to tie a tie that does not want to be tied. And it looks pretty good to me, maybe even a little fancy. So. Thank you for watching my video. I hope this helps some of you. Make sure you go and visit the link below so you can see the man who showed me the tie knot and everything and uh, give him plenty of appreciation for what he's done. All right, this is Schneiky Man. See you guys later. Bye.